salutations. So I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, this is going to be, I guess, a YouTube exclusive, um, or at the very least, it's it's, it's not going to be streamed. Um, because this is kind of like a time management sort of game. Um, so it's kind of difficult to stream because I could play it for like 10 minutes and then not have to touch it again for hours. Um, so it's pretty much going to just be exclusively on things like YouTube. Uh, but this is Sunflower Land. And this game caught my interest um, because it is a Web3 game. Uh, which, for people who don't have any clue what that is, it's uh, it's built on a bunch of different blockchain technologies. So it involves things like cryptocurrency and digital assets. Um, and it's kind of a hot button issue <laughs> um, with a lot of people on a variety of factors. Uh, but I wanted to give it a shot and just kind of see you know like what it's like um so i'm just going to film um every single time that i interact with this and then just splice it all together into a longer gameplay video um but yeah so i it cost me like 10 bucks to get started on this uh because you actually have to mint um an asset that is your farm um, so one thing, all right, so this is on a browser. Um, you can also use a web three browser on your phone to access it as well, like MetaMask. Uh, but one of the first things that I did was I zoomed way out on my browser because I felt like it was zoomed really far in. Um, and I can see everything a little bit better now. Um, I've been playing for a while. Um, so when you start, if you if you choose to start with this, um, it's going to look completely different. Uh, you just start out with basically like I think it's like two or three squares of land, um, and then you plant some crops. You can buy seeds from this person, and then you can sell the crops and uh, buy more seeds, and you just keep doing that. Um, but there's a stock. And in order to renew the stock, then you have to um, save your state to blockchain. So it's uh, like a permanent save file, essentially, if you want to think of it that way. Um, which does have a transaction fee, so keep that in mind that there are financial transactions like all throughout this. But because everything is some form of digital asset, um, you can also be completely sustainable playing it too um so like you can grow your crops and then instead of selling them to this person to get the uh, sunflower currency which is actually a cryptocurrency um you can also sell the um y your crops like directly on marketplaces and stuff um or you can even trade them directly to other players inside the game um but yeah so I think that pretty much covers the basic gist of it. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll just pretty much get started. Um, we've got a variety of different skills that do different things. Um, so like this makes crops produce more, um, grow faster. Um, sunflowers produce uh, gold, <laughs> like not currency gold, but like actual gold ore like over here. Um, you can build structures which allow you to do more things in the game or um, provide bonuses. Uh, one way that you, or actually the only way that you level up is by consuming food. Um, so you can, uh, yeah, okay. So you can make a variety of different foods and it gives you XP when you consume them. So like I just made these roast veggies and I'll go ahead and make some more. Um, so you click on your little person, which these are also all unique tokens, so yours will look different than mine. Um, but yeah, and then you just hit eat, and then it gives you the XP over here. And then um, you get skill points pretty much like every level up until a certain point, and then you start getting them like every two levels. 
Um, this is how you expand your land, um, which requires resources, um, but it also requires you to be a certain level to do that. And then there's a time requirement with it as well. Um, we've got special like challenges and stuff that give us rewards. And I'll show you how to do those. I don't have any of the items <laughs> at the moment that people are requesting, but um, down here you can get on your boat and you can travel to different places that will let you um, acquire more like boosting assets and stuff um, or take place in events. And right now there is an event going on in the Pumpkin Plaza. So on computer, you just use the um, arrow keys to move, which is kind of annoying because I would prefer to do WASD keys, but you know, it is what it is. Um, on mobile, there's like a um, joystick, virtual joystick that you use to move around. Um, but yeah, you just talk to the people and deliver it and then you get coins, um, sunflower coins. And then once you do, was it 10 deliveries or is it 20? 20 then you also get a bonus chest which gives some pretty cool items um, it could be food items or other tools and such um, i've got some like axes for cutting down trees and whatnot um but then there's also like mini games and stuff that you can play too um that's part of the event but i currently i'm not doing anything like that right now i might record some of that stuff later but Right now, I'm just trying to manage stuff. Uh, mushrooms grow on your island, like every, I think it's like, um, I can't remember how many hours. But I think it's a little bit longer than once a day, I think. I could be wrong with that, though. Uh, but yeah, you just click stuff to harvest it. The fruit, you can harvest multiple times, and then after a while, the, they turn into this, and you just chop it down with um, axe that you can get from blacksmith. Um, but we will... Plant more blueberries. I usually make sure that I equip like a tool or something or a seed that can't be planted in these kinds of fields um, because sometimes I double click and it ends up planting something that I didn't mean to plant. All right now I'm just harvesting some corn. And then all right, so you can see how long it takes to grow stuff. I have several uh, boosts that reduce growth time, so this is not going to be the same for you. Um, but sunflower seeds, they basically take like a minute to grow. So I'll go ahead and uh, plant some of those just so you can see. And this scarecrow also actually reduced them. So if I plant, um, well, it reduces them in this like square pattern here in front of it. So if I plant one like right here and then right here, you can see this one takes like 40 seconds, this one takes 30 something seconds. Um, and this affects sunflowers, potatoes, and pumpkins. But there's other scarecrows that also affect other crops. So I don't have those yet, um, but you can move around um, your stuff. So like I can move this rock. You can pretty much landscape your area entirely how you want to. This is just how I have mine set up. But yeah, um, at this point, I'm just gonna let these finish growing.